Hello people of God, this is my Jacob Sweet TV, and I'm Dupi Dupi Singer. This is episode 150, episode 150. Remember the story, the dream I had about uh, the herbalists in the market who were unhappy that I saw them doing their meeting in the market. Remember I said that I had traveled to Ibadan with two or three other people, three other people who saw them, but two of the people who saw them had died mysteriously. And the other man and I knew that their death came from the fact that they, they saw those, those women in the market. Still in the dream, I returned to Lagos to the market. And I, immediately I came into the market. Um, they said, oh, we have been waiting for you. Incidentally, I returned with the other man who saw them too. Now, I have to digress a bit. I have to digress a bit. Before this dream, after I have asked everybody in the market to say the Lord's Prayer, a woman who sells uh, leaves, in the market, the moi moi leaves in the market. On my way upstairs, where I usually preached one day, I saw and she was like sick. I mean, she wasn't a normal self. She didn't look like she was good. So I greeted her nicely and I asked her what was wrong with her. And she said she's been treating herself for so long and she's not been well. So I said to her, well, I can pray for you. She said, well, yes, you can pray for me. She has also gone to pray, but nothing has happened. She's still sick. She was still sick. And I also said to her that um, I have a herb that the Lord gave me that if she does, she wouldn't mind. If she didn't mind, I could bring the herb for her the next day. And she said she didn't mind. She has been everywhere. She has taken all the medications. She's been to hospitals and she was still sick. So I promised her I was going to bring the, uh, the medication, the herbal medication that the Lord gave me. I call that medication God's gold. I've not discussed, I've not talked about uh, God's gold yet. I mention it once in a while, but I've not talked about how the Lord gave that medication to me, which I hope I will do one day. So, I went to preach and went home. The next day, thank God I remembered as I was about to climb up, I, I told the woman to, no, no, I gave the, 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 the help to her and I told her how to use it. And I pleaded with her, I pleaded with her, please use it as I have described. Don't do more than what I have said. And she said, okay, no problem. Before I started preaching, she came upstairs again. She came to thank me and to ask me how much she will pay. Ordinarily, I sell the herbs. I mean, you know, in liquid form. But I told her, I said, Abuja, my mother, how can I sell anything to you? I want you to be well. Don't worry, just take, go, go and take it as I have prescribed it. That's what I told her. And she was actually very grateful. That was prior to the time I had this dream. Yeah, I, I, I come back to the dream now. Now, they now took me and the man who had seen them, who just, the, the two of us who just came back from the pardon. They took us to a place where they were going to judge us. And the place was like, there was a stage higher than, you know, the ground, much higher than the ground. You have to take like, uh, 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 some steps before you get to it was made with wood and a woman was sitting some women were sitting in as if they were judges but there was one that was presiding and the woman to my extreme right where I will the, the staircase I will use to take to go upstairs to the place of judgment the woman looked at me 
and took her eyes away. And I said to her, my mother, my mother, she didn't answer me. I said, ah, I just want to be sure that you are well, that you are good. Are you good? Are you well now? She could not find any art in me. I mean, it was, she couldn't find, she found love. And so she could not, she just melted, melted and said to me that she was well. She thanked me. And she was trying to beg those people not to ask me to come up to the place of judgment. And they said no. They were telling me no. There's no amount of love I want to show or the amount of care that I want to show to them that will make them not to judge me. But then I still look at the woman. The woman said, the woman that I saw, that I was saying, my mother, my mother, she said, well, what kind of a person are you? We want to kill you, and you are still calling me my, your mother. I said, but I love you. I said, you're my beloved mother. I love you. Why not? Why would I, why would I in spite of what, or whatever you want to do to me, I still love you. So the woman that was beside him said, I should come upstairs. The man that we came together was watching in the dream. Some Christians in the market had like gathered together and they were praying for me. But it looked as if nothing was working. Was working. Nothing was working. So I went up to where they asked me to come. And they said to me, there's only one test that will save me from being judged by them. And it showed me something in front of them. I said, if my fingers can enter into that thing that they are showing me, then I will pass. I will not be judged by them. But they, they only, it's only the fingers of a little child that can enter the thing they showed me. But only the, the fingers, there's no adult fingers that will enter that thing. At that point, I don't, I, I, can't, I can't remember what happened. I didn't see, I never saw rain. I did not hear the wind. You remember that story in, in the book of, I think, First Kings. Not rain, but their valley was filled. I didn't hear anything. I didn't say anything. I just discovered that I, have, I found myself out of that place and I was walking out of the market. I was on my way out of the market. <sighs> How did I get here? I didn't feel I didn't see anybody carry me. I didn't see I was out of danger. So it seemed to me. I, I was walking and I said, let me look behind me. Maybe I'll find that man. I was wondering, is that man also saved? Is that man also following me? I looked back and I found that the woman who was presiding was coming behind me, pointing a gun at me insisting that she was going to gun me down. I was back in, I remember. If I didn't look out, to, if I didn't look back to look for that man, I wouldn't have known that somebody was following me privately. But that woman that I was kind to, that woman that I was kind to, she was sitting at the side of the staircase, had also followed the woman that was beside him who wanted to shoot me. She was in between me, without me knowing it. And the woman, I mean, the woman who was going to shoot. And so the, the, but by now I have looked back and I was seeing them. And the woman that was holding the gun was telling the woman in the middle, if you don't leave that middle, I will shoot you. I will shoot her through you. I will still get to her through you. And the woman was doing like something like this to so as, as if, as a defense, she didn't mind herself to be the defense so that the shop, I mean, the, 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 the gone, whatever, will not get to me. Yeah, I was afraid. The dream, the woman was going to shoot. The other woman was covering me. I was afraid. I was just waiting for, wow. That was when I woke. I was sweating like only God knows how to describe me. Inside, 
an air-conditioned room. I recognized that woman that wanted to defend me as the woman that I was kind to in the market. Then I woke up. I said, oh, okay. This is where the people were, are waiting for me because I taught the people in the market how to say the Lord's Prayer before they would sleep. You know what I did? I went on my knees with my sweating. Went on my knees and the first thing I did was to say the Lord's Prayer. I said it like three times. I if to say, in case it makes you angry, I will say it again and again. What happened afterwards? I mean, you know, some people will sleep and they will never wake up again. They, you never know the battles that they could not, they had fought in their dreams that made them become dead at the end of at the end of the day. By the morning they, they are dead. You don't know what has happened to them. But I was awake and I leave to go and tell the story in the market. I went to tell the story in the market. I told them in the market, some people want to kill me. Some people in the market, this which is which is want to kill me. Which is want to kill me. I told the story in the market. <laughs> what happened after that? Ah, the Lord knows the way through the market, the wilderness. And of course, he knows the way through the market too. <laughs> Incidentally, I recognized in real life that man that followed me, that was also accused alongside me. I had to look for him. I had to physically look for him to tell him the story. And the story he told me about his life will shock you. Hmm. This is my Jacob TV. I'm Dupi Dupi Singer. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please keep watching because there are very interesting stories waiting for you. God bless you for watching. Bye bye.